Hey, what's up, guys? This is Richie from Jailbreak Overlander, and this is take two. These poor guys, both of these guys from Tom Carr, already did a video for me, and luckily for them, I was dumb enough to record it in fast motion. So there was no audio, and it looked ridiculous. So Jim's going to do this all over again. Jim, what's up, brother? What are we hey. looking at here? So this is our brand new Tom Carr TX uh, line. This is a TX5. It's a two-seater short bed version of our new TX line of four-wheel drive cars. So every TX is starts its life out with a hand-built, fully welded steel frame and chassis that goes through three quality control checks before powder coat and comes with a lifetime warranty. And, and this is... This, uh, we're going to just be straight up here because I try to do that and you guys know that this is no bullshit. There isn't like, yeah, three quality control guys where the same guy looks at it three times and gives it a big check mark. This yeah. thing is legit. For real. The welds, everything. You guys built this for any environment. Is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely. It was originally designed to withstand the harshest terrains to go through um, to do you know security and, and border work. Uh, overseas and so it, it when a when a battle mission depends on the vehicle it has to be able to get in and get out uh, period yeah period it, right it, there's no option for failure here so this car was over designed uh, some might say and for other people it's just it's just exactly right so I was telling you that I some for I can't remember who what or where but they were telling me about this vehicle that the special forces guys have got their hands on and it's badass well this is the civilian model correct this is the same model oh my um, there are uh, there's a, a a few a few agencies and organizations that do have a a, a few tom cars and uh, they've utilized them over the years for various things for sure this thing is sick like but when people buy these are they gonna have to come back to tom car all the time for like tires rims stuff like no. that that's one of the that's that's the beauty of it. You can obviously come to us and, and get any parts that you need, and, and we'll we'll ship them right to you. We do that all the time. But things like tires, they're available off the shelf anywhere. It's a 265-75 R16 tire. We use uh, Load Range E 10 ply. They're very robust, and uh, they work well in the desert and for rocky terrains. You can't really blow them up too easily. So. Um, but you can get that tire anywhere. Any tire shop, no matter where you are in the country, um, you're going to be able to, to find that's, that size tire. It's really common. That's phenomenal. Now, this thing has disc brakes all the way around, I noticed. That's right. Disc brakes all the way around. They're power brakes. There's a brake booster on the, on the vehicle. So you have that confidence that you're going to be able to stop when you need to. Not only can you go anywhere, but you can do it safely. So what about the... Um, the the layout of this truck do you only make two seaters that's it so we have several different models and several different power plants that are available to our customers so uh, this model is the two seater short bed version it's like a little pickup it's called the TX5 we have the TX3 which is a two seater long bed and our TX4 is the same wheelbase as the three uh, but it's a four seater instead of a two seater so you get two extra passengers and a little bit less of the cargo space and you were telling me that this is a one ton capacity two thousand pounds yeah um with one of the power with some of the power plants so this is a four cylinder 1.5 liter gasoline engine and works great for a lot of our customers some people they want a fully electric car whether that's in the film industry and they need to do high speed off-road film or whether it's in an under underground mine where they have to really have zero emissions those are where our electric cars and, our, and things really come into play. We're also in development on a turbo diesel power plant for the vehicle. And with both the diesel and the electric, uh, the payload capacity is, it's north of, of one ton. Wow. Yeah. Now, I notice in the front of this that there's already a winch in there. Is that yeah. going to be something that people have to buy, or is it, do these come with them? No, every TX comes with a worn 10,000-pound winch, and uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great deal. That, okay, Jim, I noticed this thing had some serious clearance. What's the deal on that? Absolutely. So these cars, they have a flat-bottom aluminum 6061 aircraft-grade 
uh, skid plate on the bottom. That's the very first thing that goes on. So when these frames come back from powder coat, which is going to give you a more durable finish, whether you're in, you know, coastal floodplains or you're in high altitudes or it's in mud a lot of the times, that's going to be the coating on the chassis that's really going to make it last a long time. Um, so when they get, when the car gets back from powder coat, the skid plate gets riveted on. That flat bottom gives us 17 inches of ground clearance from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. That's phenomenal. Yeah, there's nothing that hangs down. Skid plates don't need to be removed for maintenance or service or anything like that. Oh, wow. You guys, I mean, you thought about basically everything. Zinc plated, yeah, heavy zinc -plated duty welds. Hardware, yeah, everything. So we tried to, every decision that we made on this car was for a specific purpose and it was for a reason to, to fulfill a need that our customers have. We have, you know, over 15 years of customer feedback and we listen to what our customers are looking for and what they need. And that's one of the reasons why we developed the four wheel drive car after listening to our customers. Now this thing has two separate fuel cells under each seat. What's the capacity and range? Absolutely. So each fuel cell is seven gallons. Um, and so if you get the dual tanks, that's a total of 14 gallons. That'll put you about 250 mile range in this car. Um, they have individual fuel pumps. So in the event of some sort of failure, oh you have that my. redundancy option. That's phenomenal. That's one of the key features that you'll get in having a military designed vehicle is because they they like redundancy so oh, no doubt i'm ex -mil i hear you I hear a arms you. go left side or right side uh so you don't have to stock a lot you could take multiple you know if you have vehicles that are damaged both on the same side from you know whatever right uh you can at least get one of them back together and continue the mission or or, or get out what about the uh, tranny and the i see the parking brake and all that stuff is there anything special about these is it yeah. standard or automatic uh, they have a CVT transmission, so no clutch, no nothing that you need to do Sweet. to shift gears. Sweet. Um, you know, put it in high high gear, low gear, reverse, and you're good to go. Hand actuated parking brake, so uh, it's just real simple, basic design, standard automotive controls, headlights, um, windshield wipers, all that stuff is real standard. The headlights are DOT approved, high beam, low beam parking light. There's turn signals, front and back. Uh, brake lights, reverse light, license plate light. A full DOT road kit comes on every car. And, and there's uh, a ton of room right behind the seats on both sides. I mean, yeah, absolutely. So that, that with the cargo area, I mean, that's even separate from the cargo area. It's really low and it's in front of the axle, which is something I love. Yeah, so the center of gravity on these cars is four inches above the floor. And so that's a really nice feature. These cars are planted really firmly on the ground and uh, these lower cargo areas give you ability to put some really heavyweight stuff down low and keep the car stable in like an off-road situation so the four-wheel independent suspension helps with the handling and handling that rough terrain it eats it up we've partnered up with ads racing shocks out of tucson they are badass they're a phenomenal company to work with and they have uh, built a shock to our specs, and those are going on the car, reservoirs all the way around, all four wow. corners, real nice coilover shock. The weight of this thing, uh, the way it stands now. This car comes in at about 2,700 pounds, and the bigger ones tip to scales right about 3,000 pounds. The bigger ones meaning the four-seater? The four-seater and the TX3. The difference is 15 inches longer. Wow. So you get a 15 inches longer wheelbase, uh, for some people, that might smooth out their ride, allow them to carry more cargo, more people. And some people like uh, they like the more compact design. So it just depends on the application for the customer. Bucket seats, full harnesses, all the way around. Absolutely. You guys didn't skimp on anything. Is nah. this manual steering or power? Power steering, electronic power steering. We have a 400 watt kit. It's Damn. under the hood of the car. And it makes steering these, these tires a breeze. These tires are, you know. Those are aggressive. Those yeah. are mud claws. Those yeah. are sick. So sometimes, you know, with a 32 inch tire, you can have, it's, it's hard to steer maybe from a dead stop or something, but right. that power steering, it, it's, it's nice. All right, and I know people are gonna wanna know, is this the only color it comes in? Nah, they come in this, uh, this desert tan. We have an OD green, 
Nice. And uh, black. black is always an right, option. Right, right. Black, black is always an option. Any color you want, as long as it's black, green, or tan. <laughs> it's right. such... I mean, you got... I've been in Overland Expo for two days now. I've talked to Ronnie Dahl. I've talked to everybody here, and this is probably the most outstanding vehicle that I saw. And it's not even being exhibited. These guys just stop by. Just stop by. So I had to get these guys on the on the mic, and sadly, I screwed it up the first time. So I no, really appreciate right. it. Second time around, brother. Absolutely. If you're interested in learning more, you can go to TomCard.com. You can see our whole line of models. You can also, there's a form on the website where you can fill it out and kind of build your own car, and it'll give you a price. Oh. It gives you the option to click Submit. You can order, and it'll send uh, the specs of the car that you want to someone right there at TomCar who can help you uh, through that through that transaction That's you can sick. follow us on instagram at tom car official page we've got a youtube channel um we're links will be in the description yep. yeah links in the description and um yeah we're we're really excited about this this product we're regular people that that, that get excited yep. about this kind of stuff just well, like everyone else that's awesome that's the kind of people that i want to buy a vehicle like yeah. this from you know <laughs> what i'm saying absolutely because everything is like yeah it's assembled in america it's kind of you know american-ish this is yeah. from arizona man these, these guys things don't are mess hand around. built right in phoenix arizona uh you can contact us through our website or instagram or, or whatever and if you're in the area and want to stop by for a tour of the factory, we can uh, schedule that and make it happen, Sweet. too. All right, brother. I really, really appreciate both of you guys' time doing this over again. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Everything will be in the description, and I am out.